Hello SOLIDWORKS, this is Alin Vargato from Jablin Technologies. In this video, I would like to share with you a couple of ideas, suggestions for drastically improving the large design review mode in SOLIDWORKS by incorporating the exploded view. So just uh, strap on for a few minutes uh, to better understand my point. For, for example, take a look at this ex uh, assembly. It has an exploded view attached to this configuration. I mean, you can have multiple exploded views, as you know. Um, if I open this in... Uh, large design review mode, let's try it. So notice I'm gonna save this as collapsed and I'm gonna open it again in large design review mode. Um, so let's find it, it's this guy in large design review. Open and we get, we get the engine. Um, I don't have access to its exploded view because I don't have access to configurations. Right now the exploded views are inside configurations, right? So um, one possibility would be, let's, let's try again, let's fully resolve it. Uh, so one thing that you can um, consider doing is maybe uh, add um, the data mark for that specific configuration. Now, one thing we know is that the active configuration already has the data mark on it. But anyway, let's, um, let's add the data mark. And obviously because it's active, I don't even have that option. Um, what, uh, what is the other workaround that we currently have available? The other workaround is to create a, a configuration, a brand new configuration. Uh, let's call it exploded. And in here, let's uh, copy this exploded view in the new exploded configuration. Obviously, I need to make this active before I do that. So let's control drag it over here. Uh, so now if I go to exploded and I double click, I have my exploded view. Um, I'm going to save this as full uh, in the full configuration and add the data mark uh, here, add display data mark. Um, my point is that this is confusing. Uh, it's cumbersome. It drastically increases the um, file size. So right now, if I'm opening this again in uh, large design review, Let's switch to exploded. Oh, again, sorry, nothing happened because you need to save that configuration in exploded mode. So let's try one more time to set all to resolved. Uh, and you can see it's so cumbersome. It, it is possible, uh, but I don't think uh, power users, companies are going to be able to uh, even create a procedure for this. Uh, people would, would spend too much time trying, trying to tinker uh, to this. So again, let's go to exploded. I'm going to make sure that this is saved like this. Uh, let's switch back to full, right? So now I'm in full engine and, and save. So now it's going to go through both configurations. Hopefully the exploded one is going to stay in exploded mode. So let's try it one more time in large design review mode. All right. So my point is, Currently, oh, look at that. It didn't remember that. So even though this was in exploded mode, it didn't remember this one. Okay, so things become even more complicated. Let's try again. Please bear with me because I, I, I have a couple of other ideas. Uh, and uh, there is also an, an inconsistency between functionality that you have in the two modes that are using graphic triangles, which are e-drawings and large design review mode, right? So let's make sure I have this save like this. Let me hit save. And now if I switch to full engine, again, save. So hopefully right now it is in exploded mode. Let's try again. So large design review mode. Maybe I made some I made a mistake last time I did this. Let's try again. So exploded. No. Look at that. It didn't do that. Okay. What's going on here? Let's try it one more time. So it looks like even though the configuration has been set to exploded mode, one, if it's not active, it will not stay like that. Okay. So what's the alternative? Something that would not be palatable by any serious company is to save this in exploded view and leave the the full engine unexploded. Obviously, that, let's see if that works. So save one more time 
and uh, let's open this assembly in large design review mode. This is just a proof of concept, the fact that at the very least it works. Look, it looks like SOLIDWORKS can save the triangles in exploded mode, which by the way, I think is very counterproductive, right? Um, now, in order to get the, to collapse it, I need to have access to the other configuration. So let's go one more time, set all to resolve. Uh, since I have the, um, the engine exploded uh, with a data mark, Really, this one should have the data mark, right? So this one has to be saved in the exploded mode in order to have access to it so it doesn't even need a data mark. So the active configuration has to be exploded um, in order for this to work. Okay, let's see. Let's try again. So let's try again. Large design review mode. Oops, large design review mode. There you go. So after a lot of work and tinkering, we have the ability to explode and collapse. But this, as I mentioned earlier, has lots and lots of problems, right? So this, this would not work, would not be accepted by users. Um, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, this functionality has already be, been implemented in any drawings. Any drawings and large design review mode are pretty much the same. They're using the same functionality using graphic triangle. So let's try one more time. I'm gonna get rid of the exploded view exploded the uh, configuration actually so let's make this all resolved i think lightweight would work fine also for this uh let's delete the exploded configuration completely right so now i'm in full engine let's save it sorry save it this one has an exploded view by the way right so let's save the assembly Close it and let's open it in the drawing. So, you know what? Let's try again to open it from, from scratch. And as you know, here, even though I have only one configuration, I can explode it with no problem at all. So, why can this be available in uh, large design review mode? Even better, would be great. So now let's talk about the implementation. If you want to have this in large design review mode, what would be ideal? Uh, number one, open the assembly. Number two, in the active configuration, have access to the exploded mode. And now I understand that you might need to turn this to edited, right? So let's say we have edited mode on, and now I should be able to have here access to exploded mode. Next level, which I believe would, would make 2022 amazing or 2023 is the ability over here to be able to describe exploded views. Uh, creating exploded views in a huge assembly is very cumbersome when an assembly is resolved or even lightweight. Now, it's simple translations, which large design review modes should not have any problem, uh, any problem, sorry, should not have any problem uh, dealing with. So what about being able not only to access exploded views in large design review mode, but also to create new exploded view in large design review mode. That would be a game changer. Um, I'm gonna ask my customers, actually, my clients, to get back to you describing their use cases and also maybe provide you with an ROI about how much time they would save if people inside their teams would be able to create exploded views in large design review mode. Think about the use. It's, it, it's going to be a game changer because very quickly, somebody in marketing, somebody in, in a team, even a designer might be able to do what if scenarios by simply moving things around without using mates, right? In a very light environment. So give it some thought and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you.